All right, so in this video, we're going to be using recursion to solve the following problem. So we're given a string and we want to calculate the length or the number of characters in the string. And we'll be solving this problem primarily with recursion, but we'll also step through an iterative solution because it sometimes serves as a nice stepping stone to figure out how you can solve a problem recursively. And it's also um, probably a bit more intuitive to solve iteratively as opposed to recursively. So just want to clarify that if you're not familiar, you, most of you probably are, with Python's len function, the length function, there's a built-in function in Python that will allow you to calculate the length of a given string. And what I've done there is I've just called the print statement on that length statement to give us the length of the above string. So you'd never want to roll your own function to solve this task because Python already has a built-in function that takes care of um, this problem very well. There's no need to roll your own. I mean, there may be some specific cases where you might need to do that, but more often than not, it's best to just um, you know, stick with the stuff that's already provided to you for free because it's usually well tested, robust, and um, you know, just other people are gonna know what you're doing if they read your code. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and try to solve this problem first using a recursive, uh, or sorry, an iterative solution. So let's type up uh, iterative string length, and this will take in an input string as input. And so the general idea here I guess before I proceed any further, I want to encourage you, if you haven't solved this problem um, recursively or iteratively to, iteratively, to pause the video and to go ahead and give that a shot yourself. Uh, and then once you have succeeded or if you get stuck, then unpause the video and we can solve it, look at it together. So iterative solution, how do we solve it? Well, the general straightforward approach is to just loop through every character in the string and then just keep a running count of the number of characters or the number of things in the string that we've encountered so far, and then return the cumulative count at the end of that process. So very simply, let's initialize count variable, and we'll loop through. So for i in range length over the input string, and then what we'll do is we'll just increment the count by one for every single element in that string, and then we'll just return count, which is the cumulative count of the characters in the string. So pretty easy solution, probably very easy to see that if you have any uh, programming background. If not, though, don't, you know, don't worry, just kind of follow along. Uh, the next approach will be recursive. And this one might be a little bit less intuitive. And if you're not familiar with the style of recursion, then um, hopefully this is an easy enough problem to kind of see how to solve it using recursion. So let's go ahead and code up the, co the uh, prototype. So we'll call it recursive string length, and we'll also feed in input string as an argument here. And then we're going to think about things. So anytime we're making a recursive function, we need to think of two things. What is the base case? And what are the recursive calls? Basically the calls to the function itself that make the uh, recursive case smaller. So on every call to the function, we need to be getting closer and closer to the base case. So the general idea here is to initially feed in the entire string to this function, and then we'll basically feed in one less character to the function, and we'll add one every time we do that, recursively calling it. So we'll eventually get to a point, let's just, let me just go up here to this string here as an example. So initially we'll feed in this entire string into the, uh, into the function. So let me just highlight that entire string. So we'll feed that in, and we'll return calling this function again, However, we'll only feed in this part of the string, so everything excluding the first character. So we'll return one plus the remaining part of the string. So we call that function again, we go back up, we, we go uh, and call the function again with that, and then we again return one plus this part of the string. So we just keep reducing, every recursive call is reducing the portion of the string that we're actually sending to the recursive function. So eventually what's gonna happen is we're eventually going to get to an empty string. We're, we're going to go through every single character in this process, recursively calling it, and then we'll eventually get to an empty string. And that is our base case. So when we feed in an empty string into the recursive call, that is what we're gonna check, what we're gonna return zero at, because we've reached the base case. And then every recursive step, we're going to just return one plus a recursive call to um, sort of shifting the string over by one. So that is going to eventually shift through the entire string. So maybe if we write it out, it becomes a little bit clearer. So let's code up the base case first. So if the input string is an empty string, we'll just return zero, because there's nothing, nothing left to count there. And then otherwise, we'll return one plus the recursive call to this string 
uh, string length function here, and then again input string of one through the rest of the character. So if you're not familiar with the slicing notation, basically what this is doing is it's just saying, ignore the first character in the string and then return everything from the first all the way to the end of the string. And then keep doing that for every recursive call. So it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So just to make sure that these iterative and recursive uh, functions work as expected, let's go ahead and print the example onto the screen. So we'll say print iterative, iterative string length of input string. And then we'll also do the same thing for the recursive case. So input string length there. And what we'll do is we will call the function. So I think I call this string length.py. So we see the first 16 here is from the uh, the Python's built-in length function. That's what that output is from. This next one's from the iterative one, and this one is from the recursive one. So we're getting, uh, as we would expect, consistent numbers, consistent lengths for the example string that we provided there. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it uh, was an example that kind of, um, if you're kind of struggling with recursion or if you're trying to kind of find more examples, maybe you're preparing for an interview or trying to study for a test, I hope this example uh, served the purpose to try to give you a specific example where recursion can be solved um, or recursion can be used to solve a specific problem. And hopefully there'll be more videos on this topic if, if it's still something you want to see more examples of. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or anything else, concerns, please do not hesitate to leave them in the description below. Thanks again as always for the likes, comments, and subscriptions, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.